Hey there, this is Stacy. Today I am going to do a skincare routine video. I actually tried to do a tutorial on my everyday makeup look, which is the makeup that I'm wearing right now. And I filmed it and I should have really checked to see that you could see me in the video because it was pretty much from here down was the video. And obviously that doesn't really work. It wasn't until I picked the camera up at the end and showed my face all done that you could see. And it was actually a 17 minute video and I probably wouldn't have been able to upload it to YouTube anyway because I think that's too long for their requirements. So I decided since I already had my makeup on, I would go ahead and do my everyday um, just skincare routine. So, as everyone knows, because I haven't stopped talking about it, I use CeraVe as my cleanser. It's a hydrating cleanser. Hydrates as it cleanses, controlled release, non-comedogenic. And I use this every day, morning and night. In the morning, I use CeraVe. Um, this is the new one, the Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It has ceramides, niaminoside, and hyaluronic acid in it as well as SPF 30. So this is a new one that I've been using. Um, from what my dermatologist has, has told me, all of these ingredients are good ingredients for sensitive skin as well. It helps with breakouts and things like that. I know that she said the niaminoside helps with that. So I have been using this in most recent days and then I switch back and forth between my Avene, which I got at my dermatologist's office and this is Redness Relief Soothing Cream for Sensitive Skin. And this is a moisturizer and um, it has SPF 25 in this one. It's kind of funny, this one, it says it's the Redness Relief. It has a very slight tint to it, um, a greenish tint, which is supposed to help with, um, you can tell that that's green there or not. That's supposed to help with the redness. So I just put that on under my makeup um, when I'm putting on my makeup. Oops, one more thing here I need to grab. Okay, so I do those things there. Then I use Finacea, which is, I'm sorry, I did not grab it. Where'd it go? Finacea is my gel that I have to use. It's a prescription. This is for the bumps that I get on my face that are rosacea. For a long time, I thought that I was having acne and it wasn't acne. It wasn't responding to any of the acne medications or anything. And I actually went to two different dermatologists because I didn't believe the first one that I had rosacea because it wasn't what I thought rosacea was supposed to be. I thought that was when your skin was just all really red, kind of, you know, right here. The people that you see that have that really red skin, that's what I thought it was. And I don't have that kind of rosacea. I have a subtype of it. I think it's called subtype two. And this completely clears up the, I guess they call it papules and pustules of all disgusting words. Um, but this clears it up. I haven't had any problem at all. I've probably been dealing with rosacea for probably about six or seven months now. And, um, and actually, I don't have a single one of those spots on my face using this as well as an oral medication. So I use that, basically my forehead, nose, um, cheeks, around my lips, mouth, and all here. And then a lot of times I've been using my Obagi, the clear, the number three in the system. It's the skin bleaching with the hydroquinone 4% in it. And I just use that along here to try to minimize the brown spots. I haven't tried to use it all over my face just because I'm kind of afraid right now to risk getting those papules and pustules from the rosacea all over my face. So I haven't used it there. So I've been just focusing right here to try to get rid of some of the discoloration that I have there. Then I kind of use just a variety of whatever I grab for my eyes. I have the Elastiderm from Abaji, the Elastiderm Eye Treatment Gel, Restorative Elasticity Complex. I sometimes use this. This isn't moisturizing, so this is just what I'll sometimes use under my makeup. I just use that first, just dabbing it around here. I also have the Elastiderm, the, let's see, the Eye Treatment Cream. Obviously, this is more of a cream formula, so I just, same thing, put it on and dab around my eyes. 
and these are not moisturizing formulas they're not meant to moisturize so then I follow up with the moisturizer and I have several different ones that I am using I sometimes use the replenishing eye therapy it has a 1% coffee berry extract formula in it so I use that sometimes I got this at the dermatologist's office it was a ridiculous $90 so I'm just trying to use this up really I can't say it works any different than any of my other eye creams I believe that the coffee berry extract that's in it is supposed to hydrate as well as maybe plump up the area and reduce some of the puffiness under the eyes then of course I use my Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream this is what I've been using the most and I like this formula under makeup and again I just you know dab it on my finger and just dot it pat it in um, as we all know ring finger just gently pat 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 around the eyes we don't want to stretch the skin out or anything around there then another product that I got in the mail actually yesterday and used for the first time this morning is um, I bought this online um, I think I got it from hot hot h-a-u-t-e hot 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 look.com they have it's one of those groups that you join and then every day they have different specials from different vendors and this is from the doctor's dermatology formula DDF fade gel 4 and it's a hydroquinone hydroquinone um, skin lightening gel so they probably have a whole system but I just bought this gel it's only 2% and again I just put it here um, in the areas that aren't here in the center of my face which is where rosacea tends to flare up more than other places um, that's all I do for my skincare routine I use the uh, clean and clear makeup dissolving facial wipes in the evening I use this to take off my eye makeup and sometimes I'll use it to take off my makeup before I wash my face but in the evenings my routine is basically the same just the CeraVe is what I wash my face with followed by the Finacea gel in the middle of my face and the hydroquinone here on the outside. So that's my current skincare routine. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, again, I am 45 years old and just um, fighting aging, of course. We've all got the effects of gravity and the hollowing. I've got this hollowing under my eyes that I've been talking to a doctor about what I can do about that. And, <clears throat> excuse me basically they say fillers is what you can do under here i haven't been brave enough to do it yet though um, maybe in the future i will let you know on that so anyway that is my skincare routine that i do at this point in time and i hope that is helpful to someone and answered some questions i hope everyone's having a good day leave your comments below and i will see you again soon and i will try to do a makeup tutorial at some um, time but obviously I already had my makeup on now so there was no point in trying to refilm that other video so anyway I hope everybody's having a good day and I will talk to you soon thanks for watching bye